It's just... I'm distressed to see that. To see that Pokeball next to it in, in my Pokedex. I didn't want to show this. Look, boobs. It alters its form depending on the weather. Changes in the climate, such as the temperature and humidity, appear to affect its cellular structure. Which includes boobs. Back in the Weather Institute. About to see what madness Team Aqua is up to here. I could ask you the same question. Nameless Aqua Grunt. Big Snake can handle a Carvana. Rough skin, no matter. You did. Hey. It's nice there's a bed here. You can just heal easily without having to trek back to a center. Oh, the boss is invested in the research they have going on here. That's quite disturbing. Because I happen to know that an abomination dwells here in the Weather Institute. And, um... That's the only reason why I got Mudskiff out. To form a full team of six, so that I don't have any room in my party. Otherwise, we would have to meet the abomination I speak of, and trust me, it's nothing that should be shown. It's nothing that should be shown in any video. Only... Only strange, like black market adult videos. This thing. Because... I'll just name it. Cast form dwells here. Cast form. Which as far as I know is an artificially created Pokemon. That's a Pokemon created by humans. And add to that that it was also given the ability to control the weather, one, and two, boobs. It was given boobs. It's not debatable. They're boobs. Like, no Pokedex entry acknowledges that they're boobs, but cast form has boobs. And it was designed by people, again. So... Designed by people to control the weather and have boobs. I have a problem with this. Um... I think that's morally incorrect. I don't think that should be done. I'm against... Creating Pokémon artificially altogether, to be honest. It's not my thing. It would be fine if it was natural, and it naturally had boobs, like Jinx is a Pokemon that naturally has boobs. Fine. No issue. No problem. Something to do with the weather and boobs, he's forgetting. Oh no, not looking for it. Want to avoid it at all costs. You can have it. You can have it. I don't want it. I don't want to ever... I, I don't want my Pokedex to ever show that I owned one. 
I just... I want nothing to do with it. Just... no. It will not even be shown. Any cast form shown should be censored, probably. I'd be afraid to show one without censoring it. That's how obvious the boobs are. I mean, it could be a couple other inappropriate private areas, but either way, no matter what it is, inappropriate. No, no cast form. Ban cast form. Stop. Stop whatever lab designed the cast form. That's what I think. That's what I think should happen. They've abused science. This weather institute, if they're responsible, they abuse, they've abused science. I can't support this research. Actually, wait. Push and tail the fish. And luckily, I've caught just the number of Pokemon I need to have a full party. If you count my starter, which I'm not going to use. Except for this one moment here. Really. No, I will not look at your Pokemon. They're not worth looking at. They're not worthy. What do you mean, ee hee 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 hee? What does that mean? You shouldn't be laughing. You should be crying. Wherever anything rare and perverted, per perverse, and abominable is found, he means. You know, designing Porygon is one thing. Cast form takes it to, and like, Porygon here, this cast form is on another level. They've abused science. I'll say it again. I like some things about Hoenn, but this research is a black spot in this region. A Zubat? Just, um, um, it's fine to have a big sneak in there. Zubat is Flammable, I'm sure. Burn the bat. Carvana? I will show you your evolved form. For a moment, before you die. Meet Sinfin. Your death. His is close to evolving too. Until then it gets one hit KO'd by any Sharpedo. It's a big leap in power when it evolves, it would seem. I think I should stand in your way if you're trying to get a cast for him. You creep. You know why you want it. We all know why you want it. I think this is the leader. An admin. Big Snake's doing well. I think I can leave it in. Metal I will. I'm fearless. 
she's mostly right. Fear this and cute. You will not put down this booger. This booger is not to be trifled with. Shelly. This is not a booger you can flick away. This is a booger that irritatingly is far up your nose and you can't get it out. Metaphorically. What else you got? Oh, that's right, Wactus evolved. Probably doesn't need to have the experience share anymore. I can probably just have all my Pokemon hold their own. What was that? I did not pay attention. Oh, Mighty Anna. That's no problem. No problem. Oops. Swagger. That's a confusing move, isn't it? Uh, damn it. It raised my attack, though. Sharply. You'll regret that. That's how Big Snake responds to Swagger. Puts you in your place. See? It's had enough of your shit. Critical hit, too. Decisive. This is the second person that's called me disgustingly strong, and I still don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I'm named Booker, so I guess that's appropriate to say. Fitting. Hmm, so Team Magma's blundering about, are they? A Magma mob? This didn't happen in Sapphire. Empire? Interesting. There's going to be some sort of clash on Mount Pyre, is there, between them? Nope. What? No. I have a full party. What are you talking about? No. <sighs> he can't give it to me if I have a full party. At least that was the case in Sapphire. They've changed it. They forced me to take it in this version. That's devious. All right. Damn it, I can't call it a boobination. I can come close, though. It's a boobinable. forced it into one of my boxes. It will stay in this box. It will never come out. It will be sealed away in there for forever. This is real. This is real. Like, I'm actually really disturbed that I had to receive it. I didn't want it. I thought I wouldn't have to take it because I didn't have to in Sapphire. Oh, I don't want to know about its shape. Stop talking. Just just stop talking, you... You terrible, amoral scientist. No. Oh, there... Did he have to tell me that? That there are plenty of them? And they're just giving them out. Great. Wonderful. 
So glad to know you've made many. You sick son of a bitch. See what the Pokedex says about it. Also see, um... Also see, uh... Pokedex entries from other Pokemon who've evolved. It's just... I'm distressed to see that. To see that Pokeball next to it in, in my Pokedex. I didn't want to show this. Look, boobs. It alters its form depending on the weather. Changes in the climate, such as the temperature and humidity, appear to affect its cellular structure. Which includes boobs. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That's the cry of an abomination. Okay. Cheer me up with a Pokedex entry for something that's not an abomination, but cool, and that I want to use. The Scarecrow Pokemon. You know, it's not the end of the world. It'll, it'll be sealed away in a box, never to be used. Wow, it gained even more weight. 170 pounds. After spending thousands of years in harsh deserts, it's blood transformed into the same substance as his sand. It is nocturnal. So it hunts at night. I approve. And it's big enough to prey on a child. Good. And, um, Sharpedo. <laughs> the brutal Pokemon. It's perfect. I love it. The vicious and sly gangster of the sea. Oh, huh, sly. Hmm. Its skin is specially textured to minimize dragon water. Its speed tops out at over 75 miles per hour. Sick. So its Pokedex entry tips you off to the fact that it has a high speed stat. Some Pokedex entries don't like match the, the stats you actually see in the Pokemon. A 5 foot 11 shark. Even though it only has like half of a shark's body, 5 foot 11, that's impressive. Almost 200 pounds. 200 pounder. Awesome. Very awesome. That cheered me up. That makes me almost forget about... a boobinable. Can't believe it. You were worthless, Mudskiff. You didn't block... Uh, you didn't block the aboobinable. Fuck. Now you have, as your punishment, you have to go spend time with it in the box. Seal the way forever with it. Neither of you will be used. We don't even look at it. We don't even take it out. We never speak of it again. <laughs> um, let me go sleep off what just happened. Let me just go take a nap and forget about it all. It was a nightmare. It was just a nightmare. That was genuine surprise caught on recording of me being forced to accept a cast form. I'm, I'm still like scrambled. Let's let's forget about that. Let's let's forget about that and move on. Where are we? 
Uh, Weather Institute. We're close to forgery. I want to explore down here a bit. Let's go for a surf. Take me away in your bill, Helican. Let me forget my worries. It's soothing, kind of like being on a waterbed, riding in there. When it's surfing around. Better put a faster Pokemon out front. You never know, there could be some some damn river jellyfish, river tentacle that comes and ambushes us. I told you. Called it. It's not high level, but I'll bet there are strong ones out there. They're everywhere. They've just infested Hoenn. I wonder if they're even native to Hoenn. Or if they're like an invasive species from Kanto. They are a Gen 1 Pokemon, you know. And not every Kanto Pokemon's over here in Hoenn. Just a handful. Makes you think. Did someone plant tentacle? Or did they just were they just like a pet released accidentally? Maybe somebody abandoned their tentacle in Hoenn, and then they just bred into an invasive species. Heh. Fuck you, Linoon. Not fast enough to keep a Sharpedo from running away. Damn Linoon. I hate them. Just because they keep me from running. If I have a slow Pokemon out. Pile of grass. There might be a hobo living in there, you never know. You can make a secret base there. Now that is a stone that I'm excited to find. Because this, this can be used to turn Seedustic into its ultimate form. Its ultimate powerful tree form. The time isn't right yet. The time isn't right yet. But now we can do it. When Seedustic has become stronger, then it will assume its ultimate form, and then it will be truly ready to unleash its terror upon the world. Pokemon. Who the fuck? Oh, it's Brendan. I should have known he would ambush me. Booger, so this is where you've been looking for Pokemon. Let me see how good you got. I'll test you. No! It's a battle. It's a battle. You obnoxious piece of shit. Brendan. You won't stand a chance. Crunch his slugma. Crunch it. Mercilessly. What are you gonna do, Arden? That will help you. Look at that. Showing his hand early. Sending in his worthless starter that he's stuck with. Because he's just so generic and unimaginative. Brendan. Such a Brendan thing to do. And it's a Grovile now. 
What are you trying to be like Ash in the anime? Brendan. I'll give your grove why I'll give your Grovile something to think about. Let's poison to it. Yep. Fake snakes sharpen to poison tail, blade tail. Beats your dumb leaf blade. I'm trying to use a leaf as a blade, can you believe it? Such a poser. You have a Pelipper? How dare you copy me? What is he trying to do? He's trying to copy me. Okay. That's how you want it? I'm going to show you how a real Pelipper wages war. Three Pokemon and one of them's a Pelipper. What level? 29. You're gonna get demolished. You're gonna get demolished. Wing attack won't save- er, protect won't save you from wing attack. I've got plenty of PP. You're going down. That wing attack is gonna land. We're gonna take you down. I'm insulted that he would dare try to use Pelipper. So irritating. He didn't even teach it cool moves. Protect. Anybody who teaches their Pokemon Protect, I can't respect. No respect for anybody who does that. You used a move slot on a move that just protects you from a move for one turn. And just delays and wastes time. That's it. An easy kill for Helican. It is supreme above all a Pelipper. This is the best Pelipper there ever was. Damn. Okay. Something. You've gotten pretty darn decent. I'd say you're good enough to search for Pokemon anywhere. Here. I'll give you this. Try it out. Oh, so he gave us fly. Use fly and your Pokemon instantly carry to any town you've already visited. But you need the 14 gym badge to do that. Anyway, I have to move along. Fuck off, Brendan. What are you doing here? Did Stone send you? I, I, I don't know what voice to give this guy. Hang on. I'm gonna grab another beer. See if I can come up with a voice in the time I get back. He might just be foreign, you know. He might just be foreign. It's possible. Ha <laughs> Where to go, Booga? I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. That kid looked very upset. This his face all red from anger. You, I, I saw seem to run into you often. Are you off to Fortry Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at that gym. Well, well, I'll be seeing you. I have to get used to doing this voice. A lot of voices to do. I only just came up with his now. It's like the third time I've encountered him mysteriously. He tracks us, like Stone does. 
I think they could be connected. Close to Fortree. What's over here? Just a shortcut. Or a way to avoid those trainers. Who I actually want to fight. He's a bird keeper, most likely. Oh, not a bird keeper. Power chord. He's a guitarist. I know because I'm a guitarist and I play power chords on guitar in addition to many other things. Victory is mine. It's our time to shine. Let's lame. Go think up better lyrics. Don't in, don't insult my ears with such lame lyrics. Bobian. You've got a main network, eh? It's a dangerous tape matchup right here. I may want to switch. Let's... Let's, um... Let's give Wattis a shot. Haven't tried it in battle since evolving. And let's inflict a slow, painful death with Leech Seed. Maybe try Faint Attack again since I'm part Dark type now. Should be a little stronger. Showed you who's the boss. We'll have to take the loss. It's a little better. Just because he's acknowledging his inferiority to Booger. I have to atone? No, I don't. Fuck off. I atone for nothing. You lost. You atone. I saw you there. I knew you were gonna put the cardboard thing down. I just didn't want to tell him that I could tell it was fake because I wanted to, you know, not. I wanted to be nice. I wanted to let him be under the illusion that his little pathetic camouflage is working, even though it's really not. And it's not even, like, close to convincing. Very easy to tell he was there. Um, let's burn it. No oh, double team. You better hope that helps you miss, um, or helps Big Snake miss. Otherwise, you're gonna burn. Bye. He burned. Bye. You should also admit poor ninja skills because your camouflage sucks. Yeah, go back into the shadows. Ooh, unseeable. Okay. I have no way of dealing with whatever that is, yet. Do you feel proud? 
Do you feel proud that I let you assume your camouflage is working? Again, gonna switch to Big Snake. I like taking down poison types with a poison type to prevent my Pokemon from being poisoned. It's a wise move, especially since Big Snake's so versatile. Do I still have experience share on it? I probably don't need that. It's doing quite well. I don't think there's any meaning to that. 16? Why do people... Who needs that many decorations? 16? That's crazy. It would just, it would just look cluttered. Wouldn't it? I think the maybe the acro bike is necessary to get up to where that item is. Four tree, finally. It was mostly a smooth journey here, except for having to accept that abomination cast form. Treetop city that frolics with nature. Lots of hippies here then. Definitely. Hmm. I might as well just heal since I'm here. Maybe explore the town a little bit. Why would you want that? You'll do anything for that? No. Ugh. Ugh. He wants a crappy Pokemon for a crappy Pokemon. You have no taste. I wish you hadn't bared your heart. Trading memories or just trading crap? Trading crap for crap, in this kid's case. Train your kid to like better Pokemon. Give that boy some... Give him a talking to. Jeez. Train him to like the Zigzagoon that's standing next to him more than those two crappy ones. That he wants to trade. Hidden power? What is that? Like, what... Is that some strain of weed? He uses another strain called Sleep Talk. Interesting. I don't need a hit. They don't need a hit. We're good. We're good. What is this? What is this game you want me to play? Oh, I guessed wrong. Yeah, 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 right. There was no coin in either hand. I can see through these tricks and scams, you know. Let's see if my broadcast of Doom, the second one, is on TV yet. Yep, the Zingrate 118. Up a new coming talent, yeah. 
Well, talent you've already seen. Turn your lens on Booker. Very good. Yes, they acknowledge they've battled me before. Good. And they acknowledge my increased strength. They were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Again, stressing our strength and merciless battle style. Again, giving them the bullet seed. That may have been the one I also used last time to finish them off. Oh, it's a sign of friendship. Because they're grass types, and so, yeah, that's fitting. Now the summary. Is that not ominous? Isn't that just, doesn't that just send chills up your spine? The trader replied, Soon. <laughs> Soon what? Who knows? You'll find out. Everyone will. Deep significance and... Deep disturbance. Good things and... Frightening things to say. If they're being honest. She was quivering when she said that at the end, like... Everyone fears Booger at this point. They've already sent two broadcasts out about... What Seedistic's been doing with Bullet Seed. Oh, you met Steven too. Terrifying? People must not have much advanced technology in this town. They live in trees, so... In tree houses. Not that surprising. A gigantic Pokemon squirming as it flew to Route 131. I smell singed? What the hell does that mean? Why singed? Oh, it's because of Mount Chimney and the the area that, you know, where ash was raining from the sky. That's why. Damn it. He, he figured it out. I was at a volcano. 131. I want to look where that is. Where is that? This thing that guy sated. is that? 131, now look at that. It's this little stretch of sea right here. Something squirming in the sky, flying in that direction. Very interesting. I have an idea of what that could be. Though I didn't see any report like this in Sapphire. I have an idea. Okay. So I cannot challenge Fortry yet. Nobody can challenge the gym. Environmentally conscious. That's nice. What's this? I didn't realize this was here. Is this a dispensary in Fortry? and they deliver to your home. Or maybe it's not. What do you have? Okay. You just have a bunch of decorative items. 
So this is like IKEA basically. Yeah. I just discovered the IKEA of Hoenn. The IKEA of Hoenn is in Fortree City. If anybody wanted to know, here's where you come to get all of your IKEA furniture. Come to Hoenn. Um, or come to Fortree City. IKEA headquarters in Fortree. That sounds dangerous. What if a beedrill came in and just impaled you on its stinger lance arms? Total hippies in this town. Okay. Well. My Pokemon are ready. Let's go uh, further east for now. It is cool walking across here. I like that. You can see the gym. On to Route 120. You can just tell us now, we're gonna win, that's obvious. Sinven's gonna light up your Rosalia. Or, excuse me, Big Snake is. Was a good hit. Wilmer. Rachtus likes Wilmer. I'll let Rachtus have Wilmer. It's got such a cool cry. Just absorb it. Get straight to the absorbing. Wow. It's a total weak move, but that's tons of damage in this case. Absorb can get the job done against a water tape. Oh, that's nice. That's probably good. To shield them from UV so they don't get skin cancer. What the hell? They're here again? I didn't even see them that long ago. They already want to get thrashed again. Okay. Jeez, I'm gonna have to give out another message. I'm gonna let Sinfin and hang on. I'm gonna rearrange my team here. I'm gonna let Sinfin and Seedistic take care of them. I think. Well, forgot to take the experience share off. Actually, yeah, let's do Sinvin. Of course I remember, this is the third time. It's getting a little repetitive now, actually. Oh, 
The Magnemite evolved into a Magneton. Okay. Little worried with Sinfinin. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can uh, make this work. Take down that Magneton at all costs. Critical hit. Critical crunch. Rock Smash couldn't finish it though. Uh, shit. Oh well. Gave it a shot, you know. Wanted to see if it could take that attack, but should have expected its slow defenses to do it in. In that case. You get whacked us. Maybe I should have used Big Snake to burn it, but it's weak. I'll remember that next time. Assuming they're gonna have a Magneton again, I'll put Big Snake out. There we go. Go ahead and give it your signature attack. Give it your bullet seed. Seed a stick. Maybe absorb it too. If it's alive. Nope. Seed a stick decided to have no mercy. Five times to finish it off. Are you afraid, Gabby and Ty? Are you afraid yet? Soon, I remember. That was the warning I gave you the last time. I'm not surprised you didn't forget. You should be very frightened. So you probably didn't forget because of how scary it is. I'll give you another interview. I was just talking about fear. I'm pretty sure everybody's feeling quite a lot of fear now, so let's um let's just say fear. It will make a great TV show. Fear always like fear always just catches on. People love to watch content and TV shows that stoke fear, you know. They know that'll get good ratings. Someone just saying fear. In addition to being frightening. <sighs> Man, killed Sinfin, I can't believe it. Let's heal real quick. As soon as I get the ability to use fly, I'm heading back to Lava Ridge. I'm going back to that dispensary there. Must, must return. They've got good shit. Frankly, I never tried it out. Till this playthrough. Didn't even know it was there, really. Or if I did, I just never... Yeah, never, never walked in.
You have no idea how strong my Pokemon are, but you will. Bird Keeper Robert. Killed a mosquito trying to bait me. Sin Fin will crunch your little bird. It, it, it likes crunching birdses out of the sky. Crunchable birdses. Mist won't save you. Tons of attack and speed. Hmm. Oh, I could try calling someone. Again, now that I have now that I'm not in an abandoned ship, I'm somewhere that has service probably. What kind of dumbass obvious thing is to say is that? A Pokeball that grows steadily is one you can count on, duh. What a dumbass. And by the way, like all Pokemon do that. Not that's not something unique to one Pokemon. What a dumbass. It's Steven! Steven! Haha. Uh -huh. I'm familiar with this encounter. Hmm? Booger! Hi! It's been a while! No, it hasn't. We saw him just recently. Just before Fortree. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on this invisible obstacle... No, no. Rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Mugger, are your Pokemon ready for... <laughs> I didn't expect him to... Well... Um, sure. Booger, show me your true power as a trainer. I think Steven might hide a dark side. Finally, we see it. Kecleon. These things are kind of tricky. They have an ability that changes their type to whatever move was recently used on it. However, I have a way of undoing this Kecleon that's quite clever with c -Distic. Watch this. Faint attack. That's right, turn into the dark type. Which is weak against fighting type. Like a rock smash move. Oh, look at that. Oh no, you're fighting type? Or you're gonna use a faint attack on a dark type? You dumb Kecleon. Just bullet seed it now. See, I have moves of three different types, and that versatility should help greatly in this battle. It's annoying that it changes into grass type after the first hit of Bullet Seed. I didn't expect that, though. Just uh, do the Faint Attack Rock Smash combo one more time.
It would help if Rock Smash was not such a weak move, but oh well. Still, still defeated it. I see. Your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Duford. I'd like you to have this Devon scope. Who knows? There may be other concealed Pokemon. I'm a little afraid of you, Steven. Booger! I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again. Some. Holy shit. Steven. Steven. Man. Okay. Well, I got the thing that I need to remove the Pokemon in front of Fortree Gem. Let's go do that before I go further. And other than challenging Fortree Gem, there's also you know, Pyre to consider. I'll have to go there and see what the hell teams Aqua and Magma are doing. Let's take down this one with a different Pokemon. I'll fade and kill Kecleon, who are blocking my way, just for being so insolent, you know? I'm not gonna, like, run from them. They won't escape. What? Fled? <laughs> Whatever. That one got away. The bird user taking flight into the world. Well then... I think I'm gonna have to take on Four Tree Gym. She just takes weakened a little bit. I won't be using it in here much, so that's fine. Other Pokemon will be getting the chance. Helican, Big Snake, and Sinfin in a flying type gym. Luckily, I have a Pokemon team big enough to have more choice now. So. In the next episode, Booger takes on Fortree Gem. Till then.